Hi, hello. So today's our uh, session is about uh, mu uh, mule uh, and unit uh, testing and units. So let's begin the session. So today's agenda, what is M unit, M unit basics and modules of M units, that is M unit and M unit tools. So what is M unit? So prior to deploying your mule applications and APIs, conduct unit and functional test using M unit in native testing framework for Mule. Test in your local environment or in your continuous integration and continuous delivery settings. So building a comprehensive suit of automated tests test for a Mule application enables you to detect any regression or incompatible change in your application during tests in a local environment. Immunity is a Mule testing framework that lets you easily automate testing Mule applications by using unit, integration, and functional tests. Immunity also provides a set of tools such as a processor mocking framework that lets you test units of code in isolation. So, so what is meant by unit of code? So let's see that unit test. The core component concept of unit testing is always to validate the correctness of an individual unit of source code. So for suppose, uh, if, if, you, uh, if you consider a car or two wheeler or a mobile, it consists of different types of parts. So once all the parts are tested individually and they are uh, arranged uh, into a single unit, then it, it starts performing. So if any one of the part is not tested properly and if you uh, if that instrument is uh, uh, in instrument is ready and approached in market so if any one of the unit is started failing the whole pro whole object is wasted so it means uh, uh, a uh, a lot of loss to the uh, companies so before uh, any project any object is going into the market unit wise testing is very important so in relate in in terms of uh, uh, programming a unit of code must be tested properly otherwise it will be a huge loss so in the context of unit testing a unit of code is the smallest testable part of an application what exactly constitute the smallest testable part of an application it completely depends on the application so for a, for a mule application the smallest testable part is a mule flow or a subflow as we all know, Mule applications, uh, uh, the, uh, the application is consists of different types of uh, uh, flows, like main flow, subflow, and private flow. Here, the smallest unit here in this context is Mule flow. That may be a main flow or a subflow. So here, the smallest testable unit is the flow for our Mule application. So here, how to run this uh, M unit? So this is the flow, uh, this is the flow source system API flow. This is one of the flow. And if you click, uh, if you right click on this flow, you can see this option called M unit. So uh, once you click, once you uh, uh, select this M unit, you can see these two options like create blank test for this flow or record test for this flow. So we can perform M unit testing by these three ways. We can create our blank test or we can record the test for this particular flow. And next, uh, uh, if you click on this uh, uh, create your uh, test flow, you can see this window. Sample test suit, sample flow test. And it consists of three different scopes. One is execution, behavior and validation. So let's for suppose we are hitting our API through request. Once this request is triggered, this API, its API gets started its performance and it will uh, give us response. So here in this contest, how to test this particular scenario? So first, uh, first we have to send an, a request. So that request can send in this from this execution scope. And once that event uh, triggered this, it will uh, uh, it will call this uh, sample flow with this flow reference sample flow flow reference to sample flow. So here this flow reference is there. Automatically it will generate once you right click on that uh, flow. If you select this create uh, test flow, uh, create a test suit, then uh, one flow reference will be generated and this flow reference is referring that sample flow. 
from here from this section you need to send the you need to send the request and after that api performance will be happen that is we can uh, uh, we can we can uh, see the behavior of that particular api by adding mocks and spice here in the next uh, uh, in the in the coming sessions we will going to see about this what mocks spice and all so after this in this validation section uh, validation scope we can see how the api is uh, performing and uh, what is the uh, response we are ex expecting that response we can keep from this uh, we can uh, we can keep this in this validation section and we can uh, uh, compare this response how it is executing whether it is expected or not so request we are sending and we can able to see the performance of the api and finally once the api performance is completed then we can see this response so in the testing case we can we need to send the request and it will be executed and once it is completed it behave here and we can validate that response and here am unit test scope so an am unit test is the basic processor of an am unit test suit it represent each test scenario you want to try so the am unit test is divided into three scopes one is behavior execution and validation the behavior scope sets all the preconditions before executing the test logic. In the execution scope, the execution scope contains the testing logic which wait for all processes to finish before executing the next scope. In the validation section, validation scope, the validation scope contains all the validations for the result of the execution scope. So this is the most important part of this unit test. We should understand the uh, behavior, execution, and validation of this uh, AmUnit suit. So here, AmUnit version 3.0 works with all Mule versions since 4.3. With AmUnit, you can create your test by writing Mule code, mock processes, spy any processor, verify processor calls, enable or ignore particular tests, tag tests, check visual coverage in studio generate coverage reports so once you perform this m unit test you can see all these uh, uh, we you can see this visual coverage and the generate coverage reports and by using different different processes we can perform this m unit uh, m unit test so m unit is fully integrated with anypoint studio allowing you to create design and run m unit tests just like mule application so how you are how you are uh, uh, how you are uh, making your mule application like the same way you can perform this immunit test as well so here immunit is divided into two main sub modules one is immunit and another one is immunit tools so let's discuss each of it so here in this uh, in, uh, in this uh, palette you can see immunit and immunit tools so here these are the different operations and uh, scopes and routers of this m unit so this m unit it uh, gives set event set null payload after suit after test before suit before test and test these are the scopes of this m unit and these two are the operations of m unit and if you see this m unit tools these are the different tools which mule is providing asset uh, asset equals asset expression asset that clear stored data dq fail mock when queue remove retrieve run custom sleep store uh, store oauth token verify call and these are the different operations performed by this amunit tools and uh, the scopes and routers of this amunit tools are is spy so these are the different different functions performed uh, by this amunit and amunit tools so in the upcoming sessions we will discuss uh, about uh, all these operation scopes and routers of uh, amunit and amunit tools as well and once you have uh, and these two uh, have these two each module has its own dependency amunit dependencies and amunit tool dependencies you can find once you uh, started working with these two uh, modules you can find these dependencies in your pom.xml file so that's all about the session. Uh, we will discuss a brief about this AmUnit session in the upcoming sessions. That's all for today. I hope you like it. Thank you.